Salutations, and welcome back to another episode from the Tales of Cartonia. Today is Monday. Well, for you that's probably probably quite obvious. But, yeah, you might wonder, hey, why are you uploading on Monday and not on Friday? What happened to the episode on Friday? Well, I was sick. Actually, I'm still sick. Oh, a bit wor weird inflection in my voice now, but... But yeah, I'm, st I'm still a bit sick, but I hope I'm well enough to record by now. I really do. Um, so yeah, I had flu, or something similar. And now it's watered down to a, to a cold, so I have a stuffy nose. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you already hear that. Probably did. <laughs> yeah. Well. Let's create a couple of slabs. Anyway. Moving on. We are here at Clitonia. And we're continuing our building. We're not at Clitonia, but... We are at the... Oh, I still haven't got a name for this place. This is horrible. But we are going to build the forge. Woo. So... This wall... I'm not sure. This may be part of a walkway. So we have two outer walls to walk work, to work with. We have the interior, we need to add lighting still. But better to, to wait with that until we've got our stuff in place. So we know exactly what to expect. Um, we're going to build two forges. Not going to make this too big of a thing. It's a thing. Yep. Um, so this is the center from the outside. So might as well put one over there and over there. Nice and easy. Need several of those. Get the output. Actually, why am I placing a chest there? That should be one of these. A furnace. Really weird to get those two mixed up. And just this, the ordinary. The same we always do. Might as well make it uh, symmetrical inwards. And like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Nice and easy, nice and basic. Nothing too fabulous about it. I'm going to most likely add some quartz stairs and you know, stuff like this. This speaking is very hard. Um, let's grab a couple. Like so. Oh. We are in a new snapshot, by the way. Um, one of the major things they added is iron trapdoors. But oh, I guess I can show you why I'm not going to make those. Also, transported all my materials over here. From those chests I had at the pumpkin farm. So to make a, a trapdoor you do it like this. But right now they're called tile.irontrapdoor.main. So I'm pretty hesitant to actually build and place them. Yeah. And it's almost night again, of course. Why wouldn't it be? And I just tried to open an iron door. Yes. Um, thinking about lighting, I could make, uh, make it exposed. And I could try and make it invisible by placing it over here, over there. Because it can shine through that and that. We're placing it over here and here. We can create something similar as we have over there. Just like I can just show you. Which is much more easy. Like this. Uh, or more like uh, let's see, this. And then placing an oh not in there, over there. 
Yeah, I think I like this more. It gives a lot cleaner look. Of course, it does give a lot less light. Instead of this being 14, it is now 11. If it wasn't for that one. Yeah. See, light 11. I found out that the light now uh, takes the place at your feet and not your head. I don't know exactly when they changed that. I think the moment they actually added that whole line. So that's an improvement. That you now actually can see the light level at your feet. But it actually matters. Because that's what, where spawning is determined. So let's be sure that this is alright. It is. Good, good. So if I do it like that, we don't have a lot of light. If I do it like that, it looks really weird. Uh, the choices of life. Just do it like that. Don't really want anything over here. Then again, this looks really, really white. So I might as well do that. But if I... No, uh, it will be alright. Just thinking that if... I would do that and I wouldn't have any place for the glowstone, but that's not true. Besides, you could place a glowstone here, which would be a better place. Here. So let's do that. Get over here. Thank you. And be over like, like so. Yeah. And top that off. Like this. <laughs> no. Um, did you just get... No, good boy. I was afraid he ended up in the whole system. Why does it do this? Yeah. Sure, why not? Get up here. And here. Then again, this does look really white. So I might still go for this option. Um... Nice and easy, like that. Mm hmm. Don't really care about. Well, I do care about that. Hmm. Bother. Yeah. So I do this, then. And this is spawnable. I don't want that. Unless I do this. Yeah, that works out. Just. Splendidly. Don't contradict me on that. And yeah, there we go. And there we go. Very well. Of course, you could finish it off by doing that, but that looks actually not nearly as weird as I feared it might have. So, still have to decide between that design and this design because I don't really like close tone all exposed but I don't really like this being so oppressively white either and it doesn't really stick out too bad because of the chest so I think I'll just go with that oh just because it provides so much more lighting like so yeah Oh, I still had you on the hotbar. bar. How lovely. So, like this, yeah. I am saying so a lot, ain't I? Might even remove that. But... No. Now, what's the lighting over there as soon as I remove these? Eh, uh, ten. Oh, really? Still ten. Okay. Well, 14, 13, 12, 11, yeah. Well, that provides a lot more lighting than I thought, actually. Lovely. So, does this have enough light? Yeah. Okay, well, that's all the lighting we need for the forge. Hmm. Marvelous. Do you want some extra furnaces? Furnaces? What's the fur and eye? I, I never really know. Uh, I'll just place those. Uh, I want eight to be exact. 
like this. So you can use one stack of coal to burn eight stacks of whatever you want at the same time. And as I already mentioned, I'll be right back. There we go, nothing too fancy. I did try to alternate it, so forge, not forge, uh, I mean furnace. Furnace, nothing, furnace, nothing, but then you could only uh, put six of them in here. Oh, the irony, considering I had six and decided that, that wasn't enough. Oh well. So the forge itself isn't all that fancy per se. I mean, we do use a lot of quartz, so that kind of makes it fancy, I guess. But uh, unlike most of the forges we've built so far, I'm actually going to decorate this one a bit more. So we have one forge over there, one forge over there, like always, well, like often actually, not always. I'm going to give them chimneys. So these I do create rather randomly. Like so, don't want them to go too big. That's not what you want either. At least, at least that's not what I want. Not quite sure what kind of roof I'm going for. Uh, oh yeah, just do it like that. Bonk. So we have a little bit of chimney. I do say that really weird. Uh, we could, nope, not like that. Uh, I can expand it a bit like so. Give it a bit of a random feeling, of course, those two are of the exact same height. Like so. And do the same over here. Like that. So they are completely unalike. And that gives it a bit more character. Now, of course, this isn't exactly um, the, the highest tier of decoration. It adds a little bit, sure, and I think I'm going to swap out some of those blocks by gravel or and the side, I'm not quite sure. Something just gives a bit less of a bland look. But, as I was trying to say before I, I interrupted myself, this isn't really that much when it comes to decoration. That's going to be constructed now because I want to build a tank of fuel to you know uh, that looks like it fuels the furnace and the forge of course technically it doesn't but hey it's all about looks so I'm am um, Debating with myself whether or where I want to put it because if I put it over there, we would have like a pipe going this way, but there won't really be a method to get it into the furnace. Whereas if I build it behind here, those two things will be in a way a bit, but we can have a pipe over here and that just disappears into nothingness. But at least it's logic somehow a bit. So, well, I could just use a pipe over there. Huh. Let it come in here. We have, sp we have the space. And pipe it through. Yeah, that sounds good. Because if I do it on the side over here, then it's going to look really cramped. And I don't want it to look really cramped. So we're going to first of all lay down a base for it. Stop the grass. Ah, dirt. No, nope, not what I had in mind. And like so. Oh. Oh, no, no. Like so. There we go. That's the base of it. I'm going to build a glass tank and a little topping and line out where the insert is going, which might mean I have to move this over. So I'll be right back. 
Here we go. I've replaced it. That's not the right way to use that word, is it? Um, this is just stone. I could make it quartz, but you're not going to see it. That's the gist of it. No, bother. Um, so I'm not going to quartz that up. So that's the entrance. Or oh, well, that's where the pipe is going. Uh, there we go. Pipe. Now, if you have a container, you want to pump the liquid from. Generally, you pump it from the bottom, not the top. So that's why I haven't connected it yet, because I just might do that. Yeah, I think I will do that, actually. Uh, let's go one more. And of course, we need to fill the tank as well. And the topping. There we go almost the, the top will be on here don't think I'll fill it to the brink that just doesn't seem right and if you haven't guessed yet what the fuel is going to be the contents of this tank well you won't have a lot longer to guess because I'm going to fill it up pretty soon so let's break this and continue the pipe Sure. Um, well, I have to remove that. And that. Right, that works. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. Of course, on the inside, we need to make sure that our liquid doesn't try to murder us all. I can't really give any more hints as to what the contents are going to be. Um, yeah, let's replace this. It will flow into there and burn everything. Great. Let's just put a stopper on it right here. Probably didn't have to be glass, but ah, uh, why not? So that should be safe-ish, kind of, hopefully. We'll see very soon. Here we go. I have collected a few buckets of lava. So yeah, finally prepared for once. I had the time. And let's grab a good deal of them. And fill up the tank first. Go. That's why I have this block. That's the center. I thought about completely filling it from bottom to all the way up, but that's just a lot of extra effort that's not really ever going to pay up, pay out, whatever. It's not, just not worth the effort. Don't have enough lava on me, do I? No, I am exactly one short. Marvelous. And it's almost time to go to bed. Great. Well, I should have known I needed nine. There we go. It does look really awesome though. Just need to put a top on it. Yeah, there we go. Great. top it off so I don't accidentally fall inside and lose all my stuff I wouldn't put it beyond me now nah, that looks cool doesn't it oh wow I had no idea what that sound was anyway I'm going to sleep night away and we'll continue in the morning okay so yeah I want that to be a full block of lava not not just flowing lava because it's the direct output of this pipe um, actually this is wrong huh no wait that's that's where the flow comes it was right I was just wrong of course I was 
So that needs to be a full block. Uh, that does not. There we go. I actually did expect you to flow, sir. Huh. Remarkable. Strange. Oh, it's flowing to the right. Ah, well, whatever. It doesn't have to flow. It just freaked me out. And there we go. Because you need a full block over here. And... Do I want a full block over there? Oh, by the way, when you press shift, your arm goes inward. I don't know when they add that. So let's see. Uh, well, that's exactly as I want. Let's try adding a, another bucket of lava over there. See if that looks better or if it does not. Yeah, I think it does. Because this is where it's getting pumped upwards. So let's reposition that one. And uh, that is going to need to be a full block as well. Come into me, thank you. Like so. Marvelous, marvelous. Bonk. I might as well remove that one. Hi. Oh, wow. That was close. Much, much, much closer than I wanted to be. Oh, that scared me. So I want uh, lava from there to there. That's going to be three buckets. Let's grab you there. Bucket one. Two. And three. Put you back, put you back, and put you. There we go. Now we have lava inside of our forge. I think it looks marvelous. I really do. Return some lava. We can do that another day. I don't know why, but you never know. Let's remove you. There we go. Um, yeah. Oh, don't like that. That's dirt. Oh, I'll have to do. Oh, of course, because there's no light. And there should be plenty of light, actually. Oh, I placed a piece of cobblestone in. Uh, maybe I'll replace it with, with grass someday, but it's not this day. I kind of like, kind of like that. Just, just a n nice little detail, you know. Nothing too big. <clears throat> of course not. I will never dare to build anything really big. Just as a detail. So, I'm saying so a lot. Yeah, you know, that, looks, that looks really awesome. And it's going to look a lot more awesome when night comes. And I need some kind of roof on that thing. Yes, I do. Actually, I also need to build that. Those sports. Yeah, I need to build a couple of tiny little things and I'll be back. And that's how the forge looks right now. Uh, it has a flat roof. <laughs> really, really, really flat. It doesn't even have those beams. Because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. I might, I might actually just keep it flat. Or make something with glass on top. Preferably not mimic that. Because I already did that. And doing that twice... I don't know, it, it doesn't make that roof special anymore. And I wanted to keep that special. But I might still change it. Once I have an idea as to uh, what I want to change it into. Now let's get a view from on up top while the sun is setting. 
So we can uh, get a good glimpse of what it feels like. Ah, uh, yes. I really like that. I know I said it before. A couple of times, actually. But I really like it. Yeah. The flowing lava. And it looks, it looks a bit a bit silly. I wish you could transport lava with pipes in vanilla Minecraft, but you can't. So this is as close as you can get. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope my um, physical illness wasn't too much of a bother. Uh, and I... Ah, oh, air mattress. And I do apologize that, yeah. Well, it's not really something I can, <laughs> I could have prevented, but still, it feels, feels bad. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Kutosel. If you liked the episode, please don't be shy and leave a like. Bandit would appreciate it, eh, won't you? Of course, it's going to be silent. Mm-hmm. Didn't give him any meat, so he's giving me a silent treatment. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.